Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we will understand RC phase shift oscillator. Generally, if we consider any oscillator, it consists of two stages. First stage is the amplifier stage and the second stage is the feedback stage. If we take any oscillator, it should uh, satisfy Barkhausen criteria. So, the Barkhausen criteria st states that A beta should be equal to 1 and the phase angle between input and output should be equal to 0 degree or it should be equal to 360 degree. In RC phase shift oscillator, in the feedback stage, we will be using uh, resistor and capacitor combination of network which is known as uh, RC network. Hence, we will call this as RC phase shift oscillator. So, to obtain 0 degree phase shift or 360 degree phase shift, the feedback circuit should provide 180 degree phase shift and the amplifier stage should provide 180 degree phase shift. So, overall phase shift will be 360 degree or which is uh, same as 0 degree. If we consider a capacitor and resistor network, if we consider a capacitor and resistor network, this network will provide the phase in the range of 0 degree to 90 degree. So, the maximum phase shift provided by the RC network will be 90 degree. So, this 90 degree phase shift is obtained when a resistor value becomes 0. So, when the resistor value becomes 0, we will obtain the maximum phase shift of 90 degree for a single RC network. So, to obtain 180 degree phase shift, we can use uh, two RC network. RC network such that each network is providing a 90 degree phase shift. So, this is 90 degree for capacitor and resistor and this network RC network will provide 90 degree phase shift. So, overall we will obtain 180 degree phase shift, but to obtain a maximum phase shift for single RC network, we need to make resistor as 0. To obtain 90 degree phase shift, the resistor value should be equal to 0. If we make resistor value 0, the overall gain of the network will also become 0. So, this condition is not satisfied. So, this condition is not acceptable. So, we cannot uh, make resistor as 0. So, if we make resistor as 0, we will obtain gain as 0. So, to overcome this problem, we can use 3 RC network in the feedback stage. So, if we use 3 RC network in feedback stage, so for each RC network, we will obtain a phase shift of 60 degree. So, phase shift of each RC network is 60 degree. So, overall phase shift of this uh, network will be 180 degree. So, the feedback network will provide 180 degree now. So, we need to choose an amplifier such that it should provide 180 degree phase shift. Now, let us uh, write the circuit for RC phase shift oscillator. So, at an amplifier stage, we can use an op amp as an inverting amplifier. So, we know that op amp as an inverting amplifier will provide 180 degree phase shift and in the feedback, we can use 3 RC phase shift network that will provide 180 degree phase shift. So, overall phase shift of the circuit will be 360 degree. Let us draw the circuit now. Let us take an op amp, inverting and non-inverting terminal. So, negative sign indicate inverting terminal, positive sign indicate non-inverting terminal, output of an op amp. We can connect non-inverting terminal to ground. So, output of the op amp is given as the input to the RC network. Output of the RC network is given as the input to the op amp. So, which is connected to inverting terminal of an op amp. This is the circuit of RC phase shift oscillator. 
So, we know that oscillators does not have any input connected to it, it will work without any input signal. So, if we take any oscillator, thermal noise is responsible for oscillations, thermal noise which are present in the circuit. which are present in the circuit are responsible for the oscillations. Thermal noise is having multiple frequency components, which means if we take any noise, it will be having multiple frequency components. So, beta in the feedback stage is frequency selective device, which means beta will provide phase shift of 0 degree or 360 degree for only one frequency component. That is the phase angle between uh, input and output will be equal to uh, 0. In this circuit, resistor values are fixed and capacitor values are varied to get the sustained oscillations. So, for this circuit, we can write beta value will be equal to 1 by 29 and to satisfy the condition A beta is equal to 1, to satisfy this condition A value will be equal to 29. Now, let us write the frequency of oscillation for n number of RC network, we can write f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R c square root of 2 n. If we take 3 stage RC network, then we can write f is equal to frequency of oscillation will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi r c. So, the number of stages in r c network is 3. So, 3 into 2 is 6. So, it will be square root of 6. So, this is the frequency of oscillation for uh, 3 stage r c network. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.